Oh, well, I'm I'm Mikey. I guess music just flows through me. It, it It's more what music does within the world. I like to try to find a way to um, connect with other people and to make sure that what I'm doing is uh, somewhat relatable. It, it doesn't matter what the medium is. So it can be a church music director. It can be musical theater. Music is at least for me, uh, something something personal, but it's also public. Born in Manila, uh, Philippines. Uh, my mother is so oh, Filipino, and uh, my father's Hungarian. I'm classically trained, so it's uh, piano is my primary. Um, but since since then, I've 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 picked up uh, around seven um, seven instruments. Working on my eighth one. Uh, right now, um, I'm a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I never really thought of piano to be like my instrument. Um, and again, m music is it's um, I'm of the belief that uh, the the instrument picks you instead of you picking the instrument. So, um, I just, I just happened to gravitate towards piano at a, at a very young age and, um, honed that skill, but <clears throat> I've always, for some reason, um, really enjoyed the saxophone and it wasn't until COVID, I guess, um, that, uh, well, I had a lot of time on my hands. Uh, so I, I figured, you know, um, uh, pick that up. Um, uh, so if, if I were to pick, um, I guess an order, it, it would be saxophone, then, um, bass guitar, um, and then piano, but piano is also the Mecca of, of all instruments because you, you visually see the sound, um, that, uh, that that you want to produce. Um, whereas other instruments, uh, you're, you're more limited. That doesn't make the other instruments uh, less prominent because every instrument has their own role. Um, but um, I, like, I like instruments that um, give you a, a bird's eye view perspective. Um, and uh, I, I, I hope that caters to my personality. I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm not the one to make that decision, um, but but yeah, saxophone and bass. I, I guess th those are my favorite instruments. Uh, I do my best. <laughs> yes, um, I joined a boys' choir when when I was young. It's not as much of a passion, but it's definitely. Um, something that at least helps me get through whatever I'm, uh, whatever the task is at hand, whether it's learning a piece of music uh, for uh, an, an event or whether it's improvising. Um, it, it, it just, it's, it's, it's a tool. The voice for me is a tool, but yes, I, uh, I do like, I do like singing every once in a while. Ah uh, yes, this would be, I believe, my. In terms of um, uh, congregations, this th this would be my my sixth congregation. Uh, uh, in terms of learning a choir, out of the six, this would be my third. So, um, uh, church choirs are 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 fun for for people like me because. I, I have no problem being a leader, but I I like um, the environment of guiding guiding voices to um, to create um, various cacophonies of sound. Right, so it's um, uh, whatever is being um, sung, whether it's a hymn, and uh, I need to figure out anthems. Then it's it's um, it's kind of tying things all together. So the more opportunity, I guess, uh, the congregation has to um, 
to connect with uh, with music. No, <laughs> no, that's an interesting question because uh, it's 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 asked a lot in interviews, um, and and my take on it is, um, you know, m music is um, ever so evolving. That uh, depending on what, um, depending on the the feeling that that I have any given moment, I might cater to blues, I might cater to um, uh, classical, uh, I might cater to musical theater. I mean, as of late, um, what is it? Uh, September 2nd, it's 1040 right now. Uh, I kind of want to listen to some acapella things, but it um, uh, everything stems from the same place. So, um, uh, I I listen to anything and everything. I, I I I pose no judgment on if this is a good song or a bad song because it's someone else's creation. Oh geez, uh, yeah, sure. I I guess the the origin is uh, I never liked musical theater <laughs> when I was when I was young. So. Uh, Born in Manila, I, 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 I was there for what, like three, four months and then moved back to, to Canada. Um, wasn't supposed to be born in Manila, but um, yeah, it happens. So when I was young, my, my, my folks took me to, uh, um, uh, to see Madame Butterfly, uh, the opera. And eh, I, I didn't really, I, I didn't understand um, the the concept of you know uh, um, sung dialogue. Mm. Uh, as I as I grew older, my last stop before permanently moving back in 2014 to Canada was Los Angeles. So I, I always wanted to do you know film composition, and um, so I was able to check that off my my list, and. Uh, moving back here, I, you know, um, I it, definitely difficult a, as an adult to 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 connect within the music world if you don't know anyone. Mm -hmm. So it, it it really just um, I was just doing random searches and I found uh, this this one gig on Mandy. dot com looking for a uh, um, uh, a composer for musical theater. So I'm like, okay, well, I could care less for musical theater, but I like the composition part. Um, it's more that when when I was thrown into um, musical theater, which was on you know my doing, uh, that's when I started to understand how how the gears worked. You know, um, um, the the roles are blended; they they, they blend together. Um, and the, the, the role that I had at the time for musical, uh, as a musical theater composer, it was, it was, a a combination of music, literature, um, and finding a way to put that together so people can produce a work that is based on story um as opposed to um just just singing a song mm -hmm. um the song is 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 part of or highlights the uh whatever whatever scene you're in um and you know since then it just it just you know um i'm lucky uh very, very fortunate that um it it kind of you know turned into well you know um after that gig someone needs uh this this production company needs needs a music director so i'm like all right i'll, I'll give it a shot and then just it, it became a domino effect so it went from an indie uh let's let's take this musical theater to the new york fringe festival to okay uh now i just ended up doing um toronto fringe edinburgh fringe and then footloose and then Matilda and 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 so forth. So, but the it 
obviously um, got stinted when 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 COVID hit. So as I was picking up speed, um, you know, the 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 last one that I was really looking forward to was We Will Rock You, mm. um, but that was at the beginning of of COVID. So uh, you know, learning all that uh, from from the ground up. Uh, you know, uh, now now I'm here. You know, I I wouldn't be here if I didn't have that experience, because I'm I I like I like go I, I have no problem going into something that I don't know, um, but uh, um, I am grateful for doing musical theater because it's if anything more psychological uh, when you're a music director because now with that 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 ten year of um, uh, music direction, okay, I can, uh, I know what you're doing wrong, but that's, that, that's not what needs to be fixed. It's the audience isn't listening to you or they're, they're losing interest. So it's Kate. So it, it's more of a checks and balances, like <laughs> the job as a musical theater director and church con and, and church music, uh, music director is, um, yes, guiding the choir, but, um, paying attention to the response. So it's kind of, um, you know, uh, you know, um, teetering between what to do and what should you do. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I find that fun. I didn't see myself being a musician. Mm. So when I was younger, I um, wasn't, I, I was always a hard worker. So that was that was the strongest trait in elementary and middle school, uh, or uh, I studied in the states, so so we had middle school. Um, so elementary and middle school, I was always a hard worker, but the result very rarely um, matched um, the effort put in. Mm. Um, it 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 took it took a long time for. Um, uh, uh, counselors and and those that that were guiding me to realize that oh well um, you know it's um, one of them was like you have an associative personality so whatever information is put in then um, you whatever experience you have you're you're matching it so I'm tweaking as I go along um, information not other things so uh, uh, that being said, the 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 shortest way I, I could have got to where I was probably wouldn't have been the path that I took. Um, I've always wanted to be a, a film composer. At at a young age, I, I saw Lion King, and you know uh, that that was the first that was the first movie I saw in theaters and I you know that I that connected me so at when I was young that was my uh young Mikey saying um okay this is what I want to do I want to do music I didn't understand that it was film composition it was music I I, I got there in my late 20s I didn't I didn't go straight from high school into a path of film composition which very rarely that happens, if if ever it happens, it it's more of a passion. Um, but I'm uh, like the life that I've led now. Um, I, I I don't have any regrets. So it if if someone if one of my students would come up to me and be like, "Well, I want to do this," I would tell them do it instead of you need to do this, 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 this in order to get there. But if they want to do that, 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 that in order to get there, then, you know, that's that's also a viable way, you know? All roads lead to Rome. So you just replace Rome with whatever your passion is and just find a way to get to your final destination. I'm tapering that right now because, um, I was raised to, um, you know, um, always leave room for respect. So, 
um, seeing as this is uh, an interim position, um, I'm I'm following suit with what the job is supposed to be. I, I do the job well, um, and and there is uh, success to that. Being a music director, the the responsibility is not just the music, nor um, the people involved producing the music. It's it's everyone that is listening to the music and connecting with the music. So that and and, and that's how I see it. I'm I'm sure David sees it a different way. Um, so it's 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 not for me to show off. Um, I'm I'm best utilize the best way that Bloor Street can utilize me is to keep me behind the scenes because I work well that way. Um, I would like to see Bloor Street with its um, prominence already within GTA to be a hub for um, for music. Like I'm I'm a performer first. Even though I've had massive stage fright when I was young, I, I've learned to um, to counter that with with um, specific feelings. So it'd be nice to 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 throw in concerts. It it it'd be nice to. I'm a team player. It'd be nice to 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 like what they're doing right now with St. Matt's to join with other um, other churches. It doesn't have to be United Church. Even keeping with traditions, um, a good music director should be able to find a way to take a genre, whether it's traditional um, um, uh, congregational or, or, or Christian hymns, and funnel that through various different genres. So you can do, um, you know, let there be peace and turn that into a ragtime chart or turn that into, you know, an acapella, you know, barbershop quartet. Whatever the drive is to keep Bloor Street, Bloor Street's engine going through, um, uh, I guess, um, essentially being progressive about it while keeping the tradition it's it's a win-win situation mm -hmm. um, because we only have one life, right? And uh, um, you always want to see someone new, right? Because from at least my experiences with with church congregations, it's um, it's it's always um, it's 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 been word word of mouth. Oh, come to this church because. Um, the music is amazing or come to this church because that minister, uh, he just killed that sermon. Uh, you don't need to believe in God necessarily to enjoy what's, what's happening. Um, and hopefully I can, you know, um, I can instill something in, in terms of music to at least bringing people to listen to the music. My father always brought in, um, always told me to, uh, uh, he had this uh, um, two fault rule. So uh, essentially try everything twice. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to be different the second time. I, I look forward to, I look forward to, you know, what, what I can bring and, um, you know, make new friends. I like to consider myself an open book. So uh, if, if, if there is anything, just, just let me know. Um, but uh, no, I, I look forward to it.